It's a place beyond our pale blue dot, where the ancients have long gazed skyward, and where modern man dreams of venturing forth. This place, our final frontier, is none other than space, where stars and planets reside in countless galaxies, patiently awaiting the bold and the daring. For tonight's program, we'll hear music from space anime, and accompany the characters as they go where no man has gone before. Good evening and welcome to this episode of Anime Music on the Airs. I am your host, Zero Particle. The idea of venturing into space sparks our imagination. We dream of new worlds to explore and fantastic sights to uncover. But above all, it's the possibilities that tantalize us most and beckon us forward to stretch the limits of humanity's potential. So to start off this evening's broadcast, we have a piece from Kitty Grade, which captures those sentiments beautifully. Our first piece of the evening, Stars Century 0328, is composed by Shiro Hamaguchi. We started this broadcast with Star Century 0328 from Kitty Grade, composed by Shiro Hamaguchi. With such a broad expanse ripe for exploration, it's time to get into gear and take those first steps in the vehicle of your choice, whether it's a shuttle, a mere pod, or even a Nervosh unit. In our next track, Sparkplug Revolutionary from Eureka 7 Ao, composer Koji Nakamura gives us a track that gets us up and moving. Onwards to adventure. <laughs>
from Eureka 7 Owl, that was Sparkplug Revolutionary by Koji Nakamura. You've taken off and entered the realm beyond the clouds, beyond everything you've ever known while you were on Earth. And you notice that the sights unveiled before your eyes are breathtaking. But you also come to the realization that there are no other living souls around for miles upon miles. It's just you, the steady beep of your capsule's equipment, and your curiosity driving you onward. Such is the mood evoked by Kotaro Nakagawa, who composed Outside Atmosphere, used in Planetess. You just heard the awe-inspiring Outside Atmosphere, composed by Kotaro Nakagawa for Planetess. So what brings you outside Earth's atmosphere? What inner imperative would make you undertake such a long journey? Perhaps you're searching for something deep within your heart. Perhaps you're searching for Odin, my love. With that, Here's Odin from Odin, Photon Space Sailor Starlight, performed by the Japanese metal band Loudness.
This piece of pure 80s rock goodness was brought to you by Loudness, who sang Odin from Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight. And so you look on into the stars where your dreams provide you with the fuel to go on. You don't merely just rocket to your destination. Rather, you dance your way there, whirling past comets, trotting by planets, and weaving your way through asteroids. A good piece to accompany all of that would be Cosmo Tiger Wandaba, composed by Akira Miyagawa for Space Battleship Yamato 2199. Go get him, Cosmo Tiger. Wanda style. Whatever that means. That was Cosmo Tiger Wanda ba from Space Battleship Yamato 2199. The piece was composed by Akira Miyagawa. But before you arrive at your destination, doubts begin to set in. The audacity you once possessed that drove you forward has left you and now you feel like you're underachieving. Rather than face up to failures real or imagined, it might be time to end it. So go the feelings evoked in the end of Evangelion's Come Susser Todd. The song is performed by Ariane. my 
life isn't that bad, is it? Well, that depends whether you enjoy this particular instrumentality project. By which I mean this very radio broadcast that you're listening to. Apologies. You just heard Com Suser Todd from the End of Evangelion, sung by Ariane. This song actually comes to us as a request from longtime listener Menos. Explorers and dreamers you may be. Focused on your destination you may be, but across the interstellar void your mind begins to wander, marveling just how much humanity has managed to achieve, and here you are, looking on to the next horizon of achievement. Yoko Kano's Space Lion from Cowboy Bebop nails that mood, with its saxophone and ethnic beats that have you looking back as you continue forward.
Space lions and cosmo tigers, oh my. But that was Space Lion from Cowboy Bebop. The composer is, of course, Yoko Kano. But the funk passes and you snap out of it. You're ready to make your last dash towards the vastness of space, towards your final destination. Rev those engines, summon your crew, and break past whatever obstacles lie in your path as you proudly bear your banner. This is all encompassed in our next piece, the opening theme to Banner of the Stars, composed by Katsuhisa Hattori. It's an adventure. Just don't short circuit. That was Katsuhisa Hattori with the opening theme to Banner of the Stars. 
I say don't short circuit because the last few legs of the journey can be treacherous indeed. What's a space anime without war? And no, don't say Planetess. Our next track puts us in the middle of a conflict, one where the rebel forces may require the services of the undefeatable Glass Fleet. From the anime Glass Fleet, we have Oinaru Kibo. This piece is composed by Kosuke Yamashita. How can a fleet made of glass be undefeatable? I'm actually not sure of that myself. In any case, Oinaru Kibo, composed by Kosuke Yamashita, for Glass Fleet. There's one final battle, of course there is. 
Maybe for that, you'll be in your X-Wing trying to fire some missiles down a shaft to destroy a moon. Or was that a space station? I forget. But you might find some similar motifs from Star Wars if you listen to The Target from Macross Frontier, composed by Yoko Kano.
Yoko Kano channeling her inner John Williams in The Target, which was composed for Macross Frontier. Finally, to close out this evening's broadcast, we turn to space opera. Like, literal space opera. From a show that features galactic heroes like Reinhard von Lohengram and Yang Wenli, With that, we end tonight's broadcast with the ending theme to Legend of the Galactic Heroes, sung by Kei Ogura. The song is Hikari no Hashi wo Koete. Kimi Hikari no Hashi wo Koete, sung by Kei Ogura. That was the ending theme to Legend of the Galactic Heroes. This request comes to you by Sherlock Marple. And so, our awe-inspiring trip across the final frontier comes to a close in this episode of the Anime Instrumentality Radio Show, Anime Music on the Airs. Feel free to leave comments below to let us know what you think and make requests for future shows. I hope you'll join us next time. Until then, I'm your host, Zero Particle. 
Have a great evening and see you, Space Cowboy.